Meghan Markle put her best foot forward today, as she and Prince Harry started day two of their mini royal tour in Colombia. The couple toured the Escuela Tambores de Cabildo, a local drum school focused on preserving and putting the spotlight on the art form of traditional African drumming. The former actress and the prince were welcomed like dignitaries. They entered the school to the beat of booming drums and were greeted by school officials, including Rafael Ramos, the school's well-respected founder. Prince Harry and Markle enjoyed the opening performance, heard speeches about the importance of keeping the Afro-Colombian roots alive, and were presented with several gifts. After the performance, Ramos said in Spanish, I love seeing Meghan's big, big smile. I can tell she's excited. Indeed, experts, who have watched Markle and Prince Harry's interaction during the international trip, say there is a star and a disposable figure between the couple, which is not a great sign for a relationship. Body language expert Judy James claimed that Markle took the lead while her husband seemed awkward and disconnected during the event. Markle, meanwhile, was regal. The expert stated, Harry and Meghan have traditionally shared the lead role of some of their events in the past, taking it in turns to step into the spotlight. Day three of this tour, though throws up some body language rituals that seem to suggest it's still Meghan in the lead as she was from their arrival, stepping into the greeting rituals with keenness, a perfect smile, and almost regal grace while Harry appears to be lurking waiting his turn or standing behind Meghan looking slightly downcast. She added that Markle, a former actress who mastered the art of performance, knew where the cameras were and made sure to flash a million-dollar smile to show that she was engaged and enjoying the moment. Prince Harry looked like he was still bound by royal protocol and, therefore, seemed stoic during the engagement. She stated, Meghan has perfected the art of the gracious perma smile. Harry's expressions appear to fluctuate, smiling, laughing, and gesticulating one minute, but looking more disconnected the next as he waits his turn. As a prince, he might still be a news to the role change. Royal protocol would tend to ensure he was fated as the lead and the center of attention on visits. She concluded that Prince Harry looked aloof and unable to deliver the smiles the cameras were seeking. She shared, his body language seems to look increasingly awkward as he waits in the wings here though, appearing to be at a loss as to what to do as his smile dies and his eyes begin to drop downward. Although the way he stops to turn to throw a cheery wave and smile as he leaves suggests he is still enjoying his visit. Weighing in on Prince Harry and Markle's second visit of the day, a trip to an Afro-Caribbean village, San Basilio de Palenque, the expert claimed that the prince, who was showing signs of weariness and tension, was forced to mimic his wife's smile and laughter to show the world he was in love and the bond was there.